it's Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. And today, guys, I want to talk about which, which discount diver do I prefer? Now, guys, if you haven't been, if you've had your head in the sand for the last two weeks, uh, I'm going to tell you what's happened is Archie Luxury is changing the content for the channel. I am buying some new pieces so that I can bring in a new audience. So guys, I went down to Sydney and I bought two watches. We'll talk about those in more detail later. But what I want to do is I want to talk today to my audience and say, which is the better discount diver? Now, let's have a, a talk about this. So two pieces were bought. Two pieces were bought. Uh, there was the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. And there was also the Tudor Black Bay Heritage. So, to uh, to clarify here, this is the 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 Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2, 42 mil. Um, it's got the Ocean Racer uh, bracelet, which is the Shark Mesh, the Milanese bracelet. It's uh, 42 mils across there. Uh, this piece here is the Series 2. The Series 2, what they did was they've actually added a ceramic bezel. Ceramic bezel. Uh, they've altered the hands slightly. The hands have been altered They're to look like the original 1950s uh, Breitling Super Ocean. And this is the big part. They've added the MT5612. The MT5612, the Tudor in-house movement. So, this particular piece here itself is a really good discount diver. Uh, how much would you pay for this piece here? That's a very good question. How much would you pay indeed? Um, this particular watch here, you would pay the full retail price in Australia. The full... The full... Far out, is it hard to take? This is the full retail price in Australia is uh, 6310 6310 uh, $6,310. That's sort of about five and a half US, I think, approximately there. Five and a half US. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's a great piece. What Tudor and uh, Breitling have done is they're doing a swapsies. They've uh, swapped movement technologies between the two. So they, they've uh, Tudor has given Breitling the MT5612. And Breitling has given Tudor the B01 chronograph movement. So uh, this here is one of the... Uh, this is the Super Ocean, which utilizes that new Tudor in-house movement. Now, the, uh, <laughs> this particular piece here itself, as well as it being a, um, a, uh, a, 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 a Breitling Super Ocean, it's, it's the Heritage line, which is, it, it harks back to the previous original version in 1957 they came out. Um, it also uses... This is a 200 meter dive watch, so it's a little bit less than what you're possibly used to on a lot of the Super Oceans. Um, it's got the ceramic bezel, stainless steel case, and uh, Milanese bracelet. What is it like as a watch there? The only criticism I have is it's a bitch to take, to take off the clasp there. Um, I do believe that will wear in after you do wear it a bit. It, becomes easier if you're a biter like me it's very hard to flip these things it's it, it it's uh it's quite annoying what do i think of it as a watch they've also in the old 42 mil super ocean they had the date at the three o'clock they've now put it at the same place as the 46 mil at the six o'clock so uh yeah, that's something they've done there. It's a very nice, stylish watch. It's a heritage. It's a re, a reissue. <laughs> I wouldn't say homage because these fuckers—they did have it. It's not a. 
they're not ripping off another watch. They're, this is their own. This is their own heritage. This is not a not stealing it from someone else. This is their own own uh, heritage version here. It's a very nice watch there. Six thousand three hundred Aussie, which is about five thousand. Uh, about hey Siri, how much is? Six thousand three hundred and ten dollars in Australian dollars. Six thousand three hundred and ten dollars is six thousand three hundred and ten dollars. I wish they were all this easy. Hey Siri, how much is six thousand three hundred and ten US dollars in Australian dollars? Uh, hey Siri, how much is six thousand three hundred and ten Australian dollars into US dollars? Okay, goodbye Siri. Okay, okay. So it's about five and a half thousand, five and a half US there, which. For a discount diver, it's it's getting it's not exactly cheap. Uh, Breitling has a very 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 slick advertising campaign. Very slick stores. They've got boutiques that fancy wancy pantsy. The boutiques look sh just just very very uh, stylish. They they do some. They're very innovative. Like I've got to tell you, the packaging on the Breitling is amazing. They give you a travel case. It's part of the the uh, the box. You have this this beautiful, beautiful, genuine leather travel case, which you can use. <sighs> Smells divine. Smells divine. Um, you can use to um, put your Breitling Super Ocean in if you're traveling. Normally, you like to travel with a few watches. This is the modern age. So it's it's a very very serious diver. It's a nice diver, very very cool diver. It's not perfect, as I said there. The clasp, the clasp is a bit of a bitch to uh, to to open there. You can get it on rubber with a very nice deployment. You got to pay extra for the deploy the really really nice buckle there. A friend of mine got that and he loves it. Um, so that's that's that's. How does that compare? Well, I suppose it, it is cheaper than a Rolex Submariner. You know, it, it's it's, but it is heading into that that Submariner sort of territory there. I suppose that price compares to uh, new Amiga Speedmasters. Um, sorry, not Speedmasters, Seamasters and Planet Oceans. Um, it also. <laughs> It'd also compare to say, you know, some of these these divers that are out there. So many brands have divers, like IWC has the Aqua Timer. It's it does a it does appeal quite well there. And the the other watch is of course the Tudor Black Bay Heritage. So this uses the same movement as the uh, Breitling, because this is Tudor's movement. It does have a slightly different mainspring. Tudor has kept the special mainspring that's Rolex invented. So that's that. The main property of that sp mainspring is that it is less. It's, it, it has better effects as far as magnetic field goes. So it, it's probably a niche above <laughs> the Breitling uh, as far as the, that mainspring goes. Cheaper, cheaper point, cheaper price point. Uh, we don't have the aluminum, sorry, we have the aluminum bezel, not the ceramic bezel. Uh, the Tudor Heritage is available in two other color choices. You can get it, um, instead of the burgundy, you can get a blue, and you can also get a black. Uh, so I've gone for the, the burgundy here. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a heritage line, uh, so this, this harks back to... The, uh, the Tudor Submariners of, of yesteryear. And what they've done is it's got an aluminum bezel. It's got the hands. I think those those block hands, I think they were on the 70s, late 60s, early 70s 
sub, uh, tutor subs. It's got a faux, a faux rivet bracelet. It is a solid links, but this is a faux rivet, which I think looks really cool. Slightly bigger than a Submariner, it's 41 mil. No crown guards. And the burgundy bezel color is carried through right next to the crown here. We've got a ring around the crown before the screw in there. So it is a cool watch. Uh, the other thing about this watch here is too, it does not have the date function. So it's a no-date um, diver. Uh, the price here in Australia is 4410 Aussie dollars. Um, what's that in US? That's like uh, high threes, 3637 US dollars. Pretty good bang per buck. You can with the Tudor, you can get it just like with the Breitling. You can get the Breitling with rubber strap. You can get the Tudor instead of getting the uh, the rivet bracelet, the rivet, the faux rivet bracelet. You can get it with a distressed leather strap. It also both choices with the Tudor come with a NATO, which I've got to be honest with you, the NATO. It's a bit cheapy. Yes, it does have a custom Tudor clasp on it. Well, Tudor esque clasp on it, but it feels a bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should even put it with it. If it's going to be just a real cheap piece of crap they're going to put with it, it feels no different to those uh, cheap NATOs you'd buy on fucking eBay for about, you know, 30 bucks, 20 or 30 bucks. You know, it doesn't really feel quality. Um, the Tudor itself there, I, I, I got to tell you, it is a bit chunkier than the, the original Tudors from this from that came out in the 50s 60s um, it's 41 mil so it's brought up to a slightly more modern size the uh, the great thing about the Tudor is <laughs> as I say it's got that movement the in-house MT MT 5612 movement uh, they've got the mainspring of course which they did not share with with Breitling when they swapped the movements The Breitling just uses a standard mainspring it's got a fantastic deployant Sorry, a fantastic uh, bracelet. It comes off. It's very similar to the Rolex uh, Glide Lock bracelet, but mm, probably not as good. Not as good. The adjustments aren't. You've got to use a, a pin to 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 adjust it slightly, which I don't think. I probably prefer this, but I'm just uh, the the Rolex one is probably a little bit better like that. Great bang per buck. Great bang per buck. It is amazing bang per buck there. I mean, it is a it is a Tudor. It's a Tudor. Amazing bang per buck. Um, what do I think of it? It's very comfortable to not... It's a big watch. It is a sports watch there. Um, what do I think of comparing the two? The Tudor and the Breitling. What do I think? I think... I think they... Uh, they are some really cool discount divers. Discount divers. I would say if I had to choose one, I'd probably pick the Tudor. The Tudor, that's right. I would probably pick the Tudor. I think the Tudor is the better diver of the two. Um, and there's a number of reasons reasons why which I'll, I'll i'll do in another video but um i i definitely would say out of the two their comparison i i would um i would go with the um the tudor i think the tudor is the better of the two it's also it retails cheaper on the on the uh you know the the street price haggling and 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 that there it, the Tudor is cheaper. Tudor is cheaper again. But as far as in the... Uh, I think the Tudor punches way above its weight. So uh, I'd, I'd pick the Tudor. So I'm going to make a video why the Tudor is better than the Bright Thing. Stay tuned. Keep watching Archie Luxury Paul Pluto channel. And tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys. Archie Luxury Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel, and my good friend Tan Zillin, Tan Zillin, 
Answering super chats, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tanzillan, simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's uh, not about the money. It's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shackling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls. Phone calls. You can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full time. Men cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that. It's not about the money. It's my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillan, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillan. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Okay.